When I first heard about the Notes app, I used to always wonder why do they have a separate special app called the Notes app? Uh, they could have just done with a text box, you know, insert text box. They have it on the graphing page. They could have had that in the other apps also. Why a separate special app? And it was not till the lockdown last year in 2020 when I actually got to know how wrong I was, how much I underestimated the Notes app. This video is going to be an introductory video into the Notes app. So if you're an advanced user of the TN Express CX2, if you've already known and used the Notes app in powerful ways, then this video is not for you. My intention is that many people should come to know the Notes app. It just sounds very basic, but it is a very powerful app. So let's get started. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use the CAS version of the TI Inspire CX2. You're free to use uh, the non-CAS version. And uh, here at the bottom of the home screen, we can see all the seven different apps that are available to us. This orange icon uh, is the one that refers to the notes uh, app. So without any delay, let's just hit that. And that adds the notes page. Uh, and uh, as usual, if you go uh, onto the menu, uh, that's the lighthouse, remember, uh, the first uh, one is actions. At the moment, there's nothing on the notes page. So, you know, activate, deactivate, activate all those won't make sense. So if I just escape uh, and come to the templates page, this one is more for teachers. If you're creating some kind of assignments, uh, Q and A, uh, you know, if you hit that, you can, you can type in a question and it can be MCQ, uh, or uh, some kind of expression that the children can, uh, write. Uh, you can make a PDF and, uh, email it to students or. You can even save it as a TNS file. You know, you can have different pages, uh, a graph page, which they are answering, you know, from the graph page, uh, maybe a point of intersection or maybe maximum, minimum, they can enter the values here and it can be a TNS file, which then they submit it. You know, you can email them the TNS file, uh, which they work on their laptops and they can send it to you uh, as a teacher. So the other options on the templates are uh, the proof. That's more like the, uh, like a geometric proof, you know, the statement and uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the reason, right? So if I add that, there you go, statements, statements and reasons. Uh, so all these templates are available. Teachers can make use of it and even students can make make use of it. Why should it just be teachers? Students can make something like that, a document, something like that. Uh, if you want, if you're making some kind of a study in class and you want to use this as a template, you can use that. So those are the first two things. Uh, um, not too exciting as you might say, but now let's insert, come to, coming to the insert menu, you've got maths box, uh, chem box and shape, which is all geometric tools. Comment, uh, the comment is where the teacher or somebody who's reviewing that, uh, uh, the answers that the students have sent, you know, you can make your comment there. You can even insert a slider. So this is just giving you an overview. And then the last one is calculations. These calculations, you'll also see it on the calculator uh, page, uh, you know, things pertaining to the number, uh, the algebra and all those things. Uh, but we are interested in seeing what's so special about this page. So what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to add a new notes page first. Okay. And on this, I'm going to go with that um, uh, math box. So we are going to go to menu, insert math box. Okay. You need to have a math box. And once that happens, it becomes alive. There's so much more life in that because otherwise without that box, if I just delete that box, you can write stuff. Okay. So this is, uh, the notes page and, uh, and this is a demonstration of how to use it. There you go. You can type stuff, stuff like that. And when you use the math box, what you can do is that you can do everything that you would have otherwise done on the calculator page. And why should you then use this page and not the calculator page? That's a good question. All right. So if I were to, um, assign, like if I were to assign a value to say something like a, so the same shortcut keys, the assign key, as you would have done in the calculator page, assign a value, something like, let's say uh, three or two. Okay. Two appeared two. now you see the difference. It looks like A assigned to, and in the calculator page, if you had done this thing, it would have said done. This one actually calculates, all right? And you might not see its power, but just hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I just say B uh, and assign a value, something like, what should I say, 11, and say uh, enter, and automatically, as you can see, when I hit enter, not only is it coming in green, uh, as opposed to the calculator page where it says done, but the next line, it goes to the next line and inserts a math box automatically. 
I'm going to talk about that somewhere towards the end, right? I'm going to enter C and assign another value uh, to C and we're going to say this is something like, uh, what should this be? Five, all right? Uh, enter. Okay, so A, B, C are uh, assigned some values and they've all become green. And now you're going to say X1, okay? That's going to be assigned, but it's almost going to be like a calculation because as I said, this is a calculation, not just an assigning, okay? So watch what I mean by that, all right? So I'm just going to go and hit the... Uh, the template for the fraction and here I'm going to try and enter the quadratic formula with a b c the coefficients a being the coefficient of x square b being the coefficient of x and c being the constant term so we are just going to enter uh, negative b is it uh, negative b and let's do one root at a time so that's why I've called it x1 plus the square root of b square minus four times a times C. This is something that I want you to be careful. Just enter 4 times A times C and not just 4AC, right? Likewise, on the denominator, you have 2 times A. Now, when I hit enter, remember, it will calculate. Okay? If you were to just assign on the calculator page, it just says done. But it, it will calculate there also. But here's the special part of this, calcul uh, of this calculation on the notes page. Now, when I go and change or tweak a certain value, so if I make it 3, Watch what's going to happen. Just watch, okay? Don't blink. It updates automatically. I'm not entering things again. So if I were to just change this value, C from here to 4, watch what's going to happen. Don't blink. There you go. Then when I make something like X2 and assign that as um, the second root, okay? So let's just go and copy this uh, expression from here for the quadratic formula and then just tweak its uh, definition. So I'm just going to come here and... Hit, uh, Make that negative and now that's the definition and so let's see whether it's going to calculate and there we go it calculates both the roots for us and so when we make changes okay uh, four and automatically both the roots are calculated and you know where to use it if you are doing your homework and you've got a bunch of questions where you know you, you use a quadratic formula so I mean you can just use this thing and say okay the coefficient is three uh, not 43 sorry three and the, coef um, the value of b is uh, 11 and uh, the value of C is 6. And just like that, you know, your homework can go faster. And you might wonder that, you know, hey, it's not going to be useful for my test. Well, actually, you can use this in your tests also, even in the press to test mode. And we'll talk about that in other videos, how you can use the notes app in combination with the other apps. But the reason I said homework is because sometimes you have to do the same kind of question again and again and again. And instead of you know, using the calculator uh, option where you to keep inserting, this is just changing the inputs and you're going to get the value of the output just like that. Uh, or if you're doing an iterative process, if it's an exploration there, you have to do the same calculation repeatedly again and again, this notes app will be very useful. Let's take one more example. So we are going to just go and add a notes page. And this time let's use uh, something like the uh, cosine rule. Why don't, why don't we use the cosine rule? So let's just type in cosine rule. Uh, so what we'll do is that let's just give an angle B, oh, math box. So insert a math box first, okay, before you want to see the magic. So B is going to be the measure of uh, one side, uh, let's just call it 11. And uh, C is going to be the measure of another side, let's call it 27. Uh, and uh, the angle A, so I'm just going to call angle A, otherwise, you know, it just takes lowercase. Uh, and the angle A will be something like, let's say, 68 degrees, all right? It's set to degrees anyway. Uh, all that is coming green. It doesn't say done, meaning it's using a calculation mode here. Uh, then we can define the angle A, um, sorry, angle A is given the side A to be um, the square root of B square plus C square minus 2 times b times c uh, cos of the times. Okay, let's use times again, uh, especially when it comes to anything to do with coding and when you're using this kind of variables, make sure that you're in entering the multiplication sign. So 2bc cos, instead of that 2 times b times c times cos of the angle. And this time we've called it a and g. Uh, there you go. So that will be the side A. And when you hit enter, it will give you that value. All right. So here again, when I just want to go and make some changes, I just make that, you know, B to um, 13 and I must hit enter. Okay. It must become that green. The calculation means it's a calculation that's registered, not just the, the value. And then let's make this something like 53. 
uh, hit enter, make it till it becomes green. And let's make this something like an obtuse angle maybe. Uh, and when you hit enter, as you can see, it automatically updates itself, all right? So this is a very basic, a very introductory idea of how to use the Notes app, but you can use your creativity and push the limits of the Notes app to come up with different codes, different ways of writing codes where the calculator will decide whether to use the sine rule or the cosine rule with user input. You can have inputs uh, where it's two angles on the side and the calculator will then decide should we use the sine rule, should we use the cosine rule and give you the correct output. So if you've never used the Notes app before, I hope this video has at least built in some kind of curiosity for you to go and explore the Notes app. I hope that this video was useful to you in some way. So after you've used the Notes app, please let me know in the comments below, how did you use the Notes app and let me know your honest opinion about the Notes app. I'm going to see you all in the next video.